My name is Charako Yamamoto, age 28. I married my husband Tomoya last year, and we're living a very happy marriage life. I get along with his family, and I am great friends with his mother and sister. But everything changed on that day. One day, we received a call from his mom, and we went to have dinner at his house. Hello! Thank you for inviting us! Hello, Charako. Please make yourself at home today. Thank you very much! Hi, Charako. Long time no see. Hello, stepsister. I heard you have news for us today. Yup, the reason we invited you guys over today is... Yeah, I'm actually getting married soon! Really? I didn't know! Congratulations! I wanted to tell you earlier, but my sister really wanted to tell you in person on her own. Yup, sorry it took a while to tell you, Chadako. No worries! Congrats! Really, when is the wedding day? It's pretty close. Uh, two months from now, actually. Could you come join us? Of course I will! It's your big day! I'm going to get a day off from work to see you. Thanks. We're so glad you can make it. All right, everyone. Let's start eating then. All right! And so I decided to join my stepsister's wedding. But I received a horrible call from my father. Huh? A call from father? That's pretty rare. Hello, what's up, Dad? Charako, thank God. Please, your mother got in a car accident. Huh? Please, come quickly. I rushed to the hospital right after the call, but I saw my father standing next to my mother, who would never wake up again. Mom... <laughs> Why? I didn't even get to say goodbye! She was so excited to see her grandson's face. How could this happen? No! I wanted to talk to her about so many things! <laughs> Why? I couldn't bring myself up after such a horrible accident. My father saw this and he went and prepared for her funeral all by himself. Apparently, it's common for the date of a funeral to be decided by the funeral homes. Hey, Charako, are you feeling all right? We've decided on a date for Mom's funeral. Are you okay for this day? Uh, let me check. Oh, no. That day's the day of Stepsister's wedding. But my mother is top priority, right? Yeah. I'm fine that day. Great. Well, that day it is, then. Ugh, I can't go to stepsister's funeral, huh? Ugh, I need to tell stepmother and stepsister. I decided to call my husband's family on the spot. Hello, Charco. What's up? Oh, hello, stepsister. I needed to apologize to you about something. Huh? What is it? Why do you sound so down? You can talk to me about anything! Actually, my mother's funeral is on the day of your wedding, and I wanted to prioritize the funeral over your wedding. I'm sorry I had to cancel last minute. Then, her attitude suddenly changed. Huh? What do you mean? Like I said, my mother's funeral is on the same day, and... And so? Are you saying your funeral is more important than my wedding? Well, it's not about importance. Are you saying my big day isn't important for you? Why are you being such a brat to me? Uh, I can't believe you. Oh, let my mother talk to you. Hello, Chariko. Are you saying you're not going to the wedding? How dare you cancel out on her wedding at a time like this? I'm sorry I'm causing an inconvenience, but I just lost my mother and... Chariko, listen. Yours is a loss. Ours is a celebration. Think about which one is more important, okay? Anyways, you're coming to the wedding. Got it. What was that? No matter what anyone says, I'm going to the funeral. 
I was confused, so I decided to talk to Tomoya about it. Hey, Tomoya, I can't go to the wedding, right? Could you talk to your family about this? Um, I get what you're saying, but my mother and sister are really excited about this wedding. What? I just lost my mother, you know? How can you not understand what I'm going through? I get it. It's just, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of my family, you know? Please, prioritize the wedding. At that moment, I realized their family was super messed up. I realized that talking wasn't going to solve anything, and so I made my decision that I was going to the funeral. And so, the day of the funeral, we finished the ceremony. And when I went to check my phone... Oh god, what is this? I have 40 missed calls? All from Stepmother and Tomoya? Charako, is there something wrong? Look at this. All these are from my stepmother and husband. Oh, wow, that's horrible. I have so many messages, too. Could you listen with me, Dad? Charako, what are you doing? You're part of the family now, and you prioritize a funeral over us? You're horrible. You have to come to the wedding, okay? Do whatever you have to. I hope you know what's waiting for you if you don't come. Charako, what are you doing? Why aren't you at the funeral? Come here right now! Please, don't embarrass me, my sister, or my mother anymore! Ugh, it's been like this ever since I told them I was going to the funeral. That's horrible, but you can ignore this for now. I have a lawyer friend who can help with this. Let's talk to him. This is straight blackmail. Thanks, Dad. But I can't just stand around. I don't want to forgive people who are going to talk down on my family. I'm going to talk to them right now. I see. You're a lot like your mother, you know. All right. Be careful, though, okay? And so, I went to the wedding straight away. When I arrived, I announced in a very loud voice, Sorry for being late! Chanako, where were you? Yeah, I've called you numerous times. You're too late! Sorry, and so, as an apology, I have a speech for my stepsister. Can I borrow the mic real quick? Hey, what are you trying to do? Uh, well, congratulations on your wedding. I wanted to join this party from the start, but sadly I had my mother's funeral today. But my stupid stepmother and stupid husband over there told me to prioritize this wedding over my mother's funeral. They called me numerous times today. What are you saying? This is a wedding! Charako, calm down! Stop with this speech! Shut up! I'm talking! My mother was someone very special to me. And while I was sad that I'd lost her, those two threw horrible words at me. And this is evidence for that. Please have a listen. Chanako, what are you doing? You're part of our family now, and you prioritize a funeral over us? You're horrible. You have to come to the wedding, okay? Do whatever you have to. I hope you know what's waiting for you if you don't come. Charako, what are you doing? Why aren't you at the funeral? Come here right now. Please, don't embarrass me, my sister, or my mother anymore. So just like that, I had over 40 of these blackmail-like voicemails on my phone today. How could someone say horrible things like these to someone who just lost their mother? I want those two to apologize. An apology? What are you talking about? I never said any of those. She made them up. Yeah, who's to say those were us, right? Hey, you two, shut up. Are you going to run away from what you did? These voicemails are clear evidence of blackmail. I'm going to have a lawyer take everything from the two of you. Be prepared, you horrible people. <clears throat> and so my speech ended, and I ruined my stepsister's wedding. Because of my speech, the family of my stepsister's new husband were very upset for what they did as well, and wanted their son's marriage to be canceled as well. 
How pathetic. As for me, I talked to the lawyer my father was talking about, and I was able to sue my husband and stepmother for blackmail. The voicemails were great evidence, and so I got a large amount of alimony from there. They get what they deserve. And obviously, we divorced after this, and I was able to cut ties with that horrible family for good. I'm trying my best to look for a husband who'd treat me right. My life has just begun!